Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a question from the IB Chemistry Paper 2 HL from November 2020. So this is from the most recent examination that has taken place, excluding the May 2021 examinations, which we don't have access to yet. So this question is asking us, propanone can be synthesized in two steps from propene. Suggest the synthetic route, including all the necessary reactants and steps. Now, this is a classic question and it is from topic 10, as you can probably tell. And you can see that it is worth quite a bit of marks, three marks. And you are required to do a bit of drawing over here. But in essence, this question is all to do with the reactions that you have learned in topic 10 and 20. And it's from a particular subset, which is called synthetic roots, which is application of everything you have learned in real life. Now, they're asking you to theoretically make a certain product from a beginning substance. And this is what is often done by chemists in the industry who have to make chemicals for certain companies, or if you have to make certain um, materials for a particular product you're going to make, not all of those materials are available in that specific form. So you have to make them from something else. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing over here, but of course it's going to be on paper. So they told us that propanone can be synthesized from propene. So this is our final product. Oops, so this is our final product. I'm gonna keep it over here. And this is our starting product. Now, I'm gonna draw the structure of my starting product and my final product. I'm gonna draw it right over here in the box itself. So this is my starting product, propene. Now propene is an alkene and it is, and it looks something like this. So this is propene. And my final product, I understand it's going to be a bit squished over here, but hopefully you'll understand what I'm doing nonetheless. Right. So this is propene. What about propanone? What is propanone? Propanone is this. This is propanone. Propanone is a ketone. It's a ketone. And propanone is also commonly known as acetone. And if you are into cosmetics and makeup, you would know what acetone is because it is used in nail polish remover. It is used in paint removal. It is used in a variety of other industrial products. So it is a very important compound with a lot of um, industrial application. And there's an industry which makes millions of dollars by synthesizing such chemicals. So you can see how important such um, steps are and how these synthetic roots help us in real life. So this is the structural formula of propanone. It looks something like this. This is propanone. You can see we have the functional ketone group over here. This ketone group over here. Now we have our starting product and we have our final product. Now, what is left is the middle. What is in the middle? What, what product facilitates the transfer of propene to propanone? What is the middle product? Now, I'm going to work backwards over here. How can we make propanone? Think about all the reactions you have learned in IB chemistry. How do we make propanone? How do we make a ketone from something? If you have studied this topic well, you would remember that when we oxidize secondary alcohols, so when we oxidize secondary alcohols, so secondary alcohols look like this, when we oxidize secondary alcohols, this is a secondary alcohol. When we oxidize secondary alcohols, we form ketones, we make a ketone. So when we oxidize this, we're going to make a ketone. And they've told us that what are the necessary reactants which is required in the oxidation of a secondary alcohol into a ketone? What do we need? Well, 
this is something that you have to memorize. You're going to need one, you're going to need an oxidizing agent because you're oxidizing this. So you need an oxidizing agent. And we use potassium dichromate in this. Oops, sorry. So we use potassium dichromate in this reaction as the oxidizing agent. And we also need one more thing. That thing is a catalyst. And the catalyst is concentrated sulfuric acid. Or you can, or if you don't want to write this, you can simply write this or H plus. That is all we need for this specific reaction. This is an oxidation reaction. Now we have covered one part. We have covered the, first, the, the conversion of the secondary alcohol into a ketone. But how do we get to the first part? How do we make this? How, how do we do this? How, how do we make a alkene into an alcohol? Well, the reaction for that is extremely simple. The reaction is called catalytic hydration, or you may have just, or you may just know it as hydration. And as you can probably tell from the name hydration, we basically add water to this. And we also need a catalyst to make the reaction more spontaneous, to make it faster. And that catalyst is usually concentrated sulfuric acid, or you can just write H plus if that's what you want. And this reaction will convert an alkene into a secondary alcohol. And how is it done? Let me show you that as well. If you are confused, let me show you how that's done. Imagine you have your alkene over here. This double, there's a double bond that exists over here. When we add water to it, when we add water, when we add H2O, this is basically H2O, this hydrogen goes and attaches itself to this carbon. So this hydrogen breaks away. It attaches itself to the carbon. This double bond is broken. And now this OH is attracted to this region over here and it goes and attaches itself to this carbon. And that's how you end up with a secondary alcohol when you hydrate an alkene using a catalyst. And that is it. That is how simple it is. That's all we had to do. Look, we have created a new product from a starting product and we know all the steps. That's amazing, right? You know, this is the really practical application of organic chemistry. I feel like many students don't know what organic chemistry is useful for and where we are going to apply it in, the, in, in your lives. But here you go. If you are an industrial chemist, if you are a pharmaceutical chemist, if you have to do anything with chemical industry, the car industry, the metal making industry, the uh, medicine industry, there are so many applications of organic chemistry to synthesize different kinds of compounds. And this is something that we have done today. So this is an amazing exam question. I remember when it came up in my exam, it made me think a lot, but it is a truly amazing question because it makes you apply the knowledge you have learned. It makes you learn what is the uses of what you are learning, right? So if you are like me, you would have enjoyed this question as well. And hopefully you have understood the concept behind it. I have taught two different organic reactions in this. I have taught you high catalytic hydration and I have taught you oxidation reactions. If you don't know, or if you're confused about this oxidation reaction, I have spoken about it in a previous video in detail. I've spoken about the oxidation of alcohols specifically. So please go do and check that out. Or if you uh, would like to do something else, I have also uh, uh, put down a link to a textbook in the comments below, which I find very useful. And the organ, and it has um, answers for probably all of your questions to do with any topic in chemistry. And I use it a lot when I was learning chemistry as well. And hopefully you find it helpful as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions regarding this concept or any other concept, please feel free to reach out to me on my social media or send it to me by email or put it down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video with another question. Take care of yourselves.